When working with a touchscreen device running Windows 8, you'll tend to use gestures quite a lot to navigate around on the screen, among your applications, and perform a variety of other tasks. But of course, in some cases, you're going to need to type, and in the context of a touchscreen device, that means typing directly on the display. Let's take a look at the various options that are available as far as that data entry, accessing a keyboard essentially on a tablet device. I'll go ahead and tap on the tile for the Bing application in order to launch that application, and then I can tap into the search field to bring up the keyboard. I can then tap directly on the keys on the screen in order to type. Now, in theory, that means I could use two hands and type, but of course, because we don't have the feedback of feeling the keys underneath our fingers, we can't tell where the individual keys end, for example, that can be a little bit challenging. So, generally speaking, I prefer to use a single hand, but you may be a bit better when it comes to typing with two hands on a touchscreen device. And if so, you might also prefer a split keyboard. I'll go ahead and tap the keyboard button at the bottom right of the display, and the second option there is a split keyboard. So now we can work with two sections of the keyboard, one at the far left and one at the far right, with a numeric keypad at the center. If you're working with a normal keyboard, by the way, you can always bring up that numeric keypad just by tapping the numbered button down at the bottom left, which gives you a series of symbols as well as numbers to choose from. I'll tap that button again to get back to the normal keyboard, but perhaps most importantly, we'll take a look at how we can enter in.